Hello. Uh, as you can see, we're doing a liposuction here. This is more precisely a liposculpture. What you've already seen is the local anesthesia being infiltrated. It's a very dilute local anesthesia, just like the anesthesia one would get at the dentist. Um, a lot of fluid is injected with it so that we bloat the tissue. This is, we, this is why we call this humectant liposculpture. As you've seen, it's very gentle, very little blood came out, so it's very clean. Okay. Uh, the tissue has been infiltrated about 20 minutes ago to allow enough anesthesia and to reduce the blood flow into this area. This is why you see that in some areas it's quite safe. Okay. Uh, the patient has received just a Valium and that's all. She's awake, but of course for her privacy we will not show her face. Now I'm going to insert the cannula, which is very fine, into the tissue and test that she is numb. And soon we will start the, the, the liposuction part. Uh, I use the simple, traditional liposculpture uh, using humectant technique, which is the safest way to do liposuction. By safest, I mean this patient is going to walk out of here and uh, go home and rest. Uh, within 10 days, she will be in the gym. She will be wearing a garment for 10 days. She will come back tomorrow for a dressing change, and every day she will change dressing. But she will be totally fine. There will be extremely uh, low amount of bruising and the result will be extremely quick as we will see tomorrow and when she comes back. Okay. So she is perfectly numb and I will start the uh, life of her right now. Here's the fat floating in the canister with the anesthetic that is at the base of the canister. And it's that's orange because it is mixed with a tiny bit of the fat and maybe one or two drops of blood. We're almost there. As we can see, the fat is already much less. Okay. Look at the fluids that are coming out. This is the local anesthesia. It's just no blood, literally. I'd like to emphasize the safety of this technique because. Most problems that come with liposuction come from using general anesthesia or more advanced anesthesia than the local. Using local makes it extremely safe. And the records from statistics done show that the problems really happen from doing general anesthesia or doing multiple procedures with the procedure with the lipo, like a tummy tuck breast surgery, facelift, done all at the same time by pushing the, the limit of what the body can take and the doses of, of the anesthesia. This is one, this is how people get into trouble and uh, problems happen. And lately, unfortunately, the problems that we see or hear of with liposuction are occurring from lasers, which is ad adding an extra level of complications to the procedure. Now the procedure is done. Again, almost no blood, just clear fluid that's coming out. I leave these incisions open. And they close very well. With time, they will be barely visible. I leave them open so that everything drains out and there will be no bruising by the time she comes back tomorrow. We will show her on in three days because tomorrow is a Saturday and we're not open Saturday. And I'll show you on Monday how she's going to look. She has no bruising, which is fantastic. She will be changing dressing, so we'll cover these now with gauze. She'll change them tomorrow, and then the day after tomorrow, and in about three days these will be dry, and they will close on their own. Studies actually have shown that suturing make them look worse aesthetically, so the scars feel better when they when they close like this. Okay. This is quite a perfect job. Everything is symmetric. Okay.
Alhamdulillah, Salimi. Okay, this is one procedure, like most procedures in dermatologic surgery, where really uh, it's science that needs art. And it's important to have the knowledge, mastering the science, and having a good eye, having the skill, having the hand, and knowing how much to remove, how much to leave. As one of my teachers used to say, it's a lot more important what you leave behind than what you remove. Because this is what's going to give the nice contour and the natural result whereby people just walk around in a swimsuit and they don't look like they've had liposuction. Okay, this is the patient that uh, three days after the procedure. It was done Friday morning, now that's her on Monday morning. Uh, as I told you, I'm not going to lower it down for her uh, privacy. But um, as you can see, the wound and the most important thing by far is that there is no evidence of a procedure done. There is not a single drop of blood. Again, this was done three days ago. Um, liposuction, tumescent anesthesia alone. The patient uh, is walked into the room. She's ready to go back to work. Uh, she has a very, very minor pain. Uh, she's very happy. Also, we can note the improvement in the contour. Uh, I did not show you uh, her before. She had a much bigger belly. Uh, she is still relatively swollen. About 80% of the result has been achieved. That little swelling that is left uh, might take a month or two to be gone, maximum three months. She will be wearing the garment another uh, eight more days, so two more days of 24 hours a day, and five more days she wears it in the morning, and then removes it at night. Uh, very happy with the result. Um, patient is thrilled. Um, it's another uh, little masterpiece from the clinic.